Hello everybody, my name is Layla and you are watching Bookish Art. So today we're going to be doing a almost furry headshot. I'm going to be doing more like this, so if you have any ideas or if you need help with anything in particular, just comment down below and I'll try to help out by making a video. So with a furry headshot, you always need to start with a circle. It doesn't even need to be a perfect circle, just the more you practice with it and the more loose you are, the easier it becomes. We're going to make this guy uh, pointing this way. So we're going to do a bit of guidelines. So we're just going to do a curve through the top of the head, uh, vertically and horizontally. So once it looks like this, we can move on to making the muzzle and then the eyes. And then I usually do the ears near the end because they're the most fun. <laughs> so I almost darken the line over here where the two lines are meeting, the two um, guidelines, and I make it point out. So I draw it out, and with a cat or something, you would do a shorter line, but right now I'm doing a dog. Well, right now I'm doing a wolf, because with a dog you do almost like a uh, like this kind of ear, but with a wolf, you'll see. It's like, with a dog, it's like a heart-shaped ear almost, but with a wolf, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna just start with the muzzle, which it's really just a line, a curve, and then another line. You can add a little more like features to it, like this, where I make a little bit of a dent. So I'm going to do that, and I usually, when I'm drawing a wolf or something, when I'm going to do a lot of floof, I do a guideline here for the floof, and a guideline down here. And then I draw over that later with more um, fur lines. So first we're going to draw the nose. We're going to come over here, do a curve, and then do another curve, and just connect that. So that's the nose. I'm just going to add the little nostrils. And I'm not going to color anything in yet. I'm just going to start with the mouth by doing a straight line down, connecting that line with this dent over here, and then doing a smile or a frown, whatever, whatever you want to. And I'm just going to do a line right here, and with curves, connect the line to the mouth. Okay. So we're gonna start with the eyes. I had to do, I had to practice this a lot with eyes. I, so when I make the eye over here, it's just big enough that you can tell it's not like, like it's not like really squished. So first you just do, this is how I do eyes. I do an arc that starts at here and just goes out as far as I need it to. And then I do another arc that leads to the fur line. Now I connect, it with another arc, both here and here. And I try to make it look symmetrical. So this is a sad little puppy. So we're gonna do a curved line right here for an eyebrow. And you need to pay attention with eyebrows. Like let's say, let's just draw a little eye right here. And another one right here. So eyebrows can make a whole lot of difference. Eyebrows show half the emotion in your character. So an eyebrow like this makes it look angry. But if you do it the exact, like a different tilt, it makes it look concerned. There's a big difference. So I'm gonna just do the other eyebrow. We'll thicken those up later. Now, okay. So now I'm going to make him be looking this way. I'm gonna be doing the pupil. Just a little bit of an oval. And try not to make it be touching the bottom or the side. Try only two areas of it touching uh, because it just makes it look a little better. I'm gonna do a little highlight right here. And just so this highlight doesn't look like the actual pupil, I'm just gonna shade it in. And I'm going to shade that in. Okay, so let's get the fur line over here because the eye kind of covered it. 
So before I work on anything else, I'm just gonna erase this guideline right here. So now that that's gone, we can draw a curve up here that makes it, that connects from the muzzle. And then right here, we're gonna do a slight curve just to add almost like, I don't know what you would call it, a tear duct maybe on the eye. It just makes it look a little nicer. Just gives it some detail. Okay, so we're gonna do the ears. With this ear over here, I like to make it look like it's backwards. So I do it like this, a little, a very, very slight slant, and then a rounded tip for the wolf, and I bring it back down. Okay, so now with this ear, I do almost the same thing, but just a little different. So instead of this line right here, we're basically gonna do that on both sides instead of this. And for this ear, I'm going like this. I do different like lines like this for different animals, but for this one, I'm just gonna do that. So with this ear, I always like to shade it in. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. You can shade it in or you can not shade it in, like whatever you want to do. So once I got that, it's not that good. I'll shade it in more later. I will draw a bit of fluff coming out of the ear. So that's not that good fluff, so I'm gonna redo it. Because with your fluff of any kind, or hair or whatever, which I don't usually do hair on my furries, but with your fluff or hair, you want it to look very uh, natural and not very straight lines. The more curves you can add into it, the better it'll look. So we did that, added some fur just so it looks like it's pointed to this side, but you can still see the fur and stuff. So now, I'm gonna add a little bit of fur here. Okay. Now that that's done, and we've got both ears, and the eyes, and the nose, and the mouth, and all that, we're gonna go over this again. So I like to start with that kind of line, where it goes up, goes back down, and then I do pretty much the rest, uh, the down lines. I try to go along the line of the fur I made uh, because every fur will be a little different. So let's do that a little on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna erase the rest of the guy lines. You don't have to do this, but it's something I like to do to clean up my drawing. So let's do that. Just a little bit right here. Okay, so before I do that, I'm gonna erase that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the cheek line because this is all fluff, but we need to know where the jaw is. It's over here where the circle was, and we're just gonna do a bit of fluff right there. That's the cheek line. Okay, the last thing we need to add is the neck and shoulders. It's almost like a bust. So once we straighten that up a bit, because it does not look good, Let's see. Okay, now we add two straight lines, a bit apart from each other, curve, and that. I need to redo that. That's a weird line. It's two lines next to each other. That's not just one line. Okay, so now that we've got that covered, I like to do either uh, no fabric right here, like clothes fabric, or I like to do like, there's different styles. But before we head to that, let's go back up to the forehead. Just add a bit of fluff to make him fluffy, more fluffy. And now we can decide whether to just do this. This is a thing I do with my drawings. We can just do this, add some fluff to the neck, or this is what I'm gonna do with this one because my last drawing, I did a fennec fox with a turtleneck. So I'm gonna make this guy have a scarf. I'm gonna show you how I make scarves. Uh, you may have a different way of doing it, but first I erase the neck and then I go down here and curve it. You see that curve? I like to do that and do the same thing on the other side. 
I don't have much room, so that's why it's not good. So that's the start of the um, scarf, and I like going like this, adding some lines for depth, and then you almost just stick it out. So that's stuck out, and then I do little lines right here as yarn. And that's just a fun way to make a scarf. And now we're just gonna add any patterns we want to the dog's little shirt. So we can add really anything but I'm going to just make a little design right here. I know it's not Christmas, but I just want a little Santa hat. I am horrible at drawing Santa hats, so it looks more like an elf hat, but that's okay. <laughs> Any mistakes you make are fine. It's just your way of drawing and it's fine. So that's how I make a furry headshot. That's just a wolf though. If you guys want any tips on any other animals besides a wolf, or even just uh, the differences between male and female sometimes. I just add an eyelash and sometimes some accessories because again, I don't do hair on my furries. So it's sometimes hard to tell the difference. So really I just add some accessories like earrings or uh, something like that. You may be thinking, well, males have earrings too and males have necklaces, bracelets, rings, all those things you could call feminine. Yes, but I like to do them in different styles just to make them look like, instead of doing a pretty little butterfly, I could do like an anchor or something like that. I don't know. Well, that's how I did this little furry headshot. If you want any different tutorials or anything, please feel free to comment below. And please just give me your advice. And advice, feedback, anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And bye.